Hi, I'm Raheli, and this is Living Life Simply. On this channel, I share a variety of simple, nutritious, delicious vegan recipes. I share information on why going vegan is the best choice you can do for yourself, the earth, and the animals, as well as share my zero waste and minimalistic lifestyle. If you're interested to learn about any of these topics, make sure to subscribe to this channel and join the community. There is a new video every Wednesday and Saturday. Hey guys, so I'm here with my dad in Japan. Hello. Uh, my dad has been living here for the past few months and I came and I stayed with him in his apartment and one of his weekly meals is soup and this soup in particular, so I thought it would be fun to share it with you guys. Um, take into consideration that this is a very small apartment with limited kitchen space and limited pan space, so he does the best as he can with that, and yeah. So let's get into the recipe. The veggies you use to make the soup are up to you and what you have at your house or grocery stores. As I mentioned, my dad prepared this soup for me in Japan and therefore some of the veggies you may not find in other countries. In this soup, my dad uses a lotus root, two onions, two bunches of enoki mushrooms, two carrots, four garlic cloves, two thirds of an acorn squash, three broccoli heads, and two bunches of bok choy. Once you have all the vegetables that you want to use, wash them well. Start off by mincing the garlic and chopping the onions into half and then slicing them finely. Season the onion with some salt and pepper and take a pot. My dad does not have a large pot so he uses a pan and later on transfers to more pots. But if you do have a large pot, it will be preferable. Once you have that pot, add a little bit of water or oil to the bottom of it and saute the garlic and onion for a few minutes. In the meantime, slice the lotus root or any other root vegetable of your choice into thin slices. Add that into the pot to continue sautéing. Now slice the carrots into thin coins and add them to the pot and continue sautéing for a few more minutes. Meanwhile, dice the acorn squash and add to the pot. Here my dad splits the vegetables into three different pots as that is what he has, but of course if you have that one big pot, just keep on adding into that. Add water or vegetable broth until all the vegetables are covered. If you want a recipe for homemade vegetable broth, I actually have one, so I will link it up here as well as in the description below. And while the vegetables continue cooking, cut up the broccoli and add it into the pot. Cook for another three to five minutes. Every time you add a new vegetable, you can also add another cup or two of veggie broth or water, just depending on how much liquid you want in your soup. Then add in the mushrooms and cook for another three to five minutes. And finally, it is time to add in the bok choy or any other leafy green of your choice. Cover up the pot and turn off the heat and let it sit like that for another few minutes in order for the leafy green to finish cooking up. And then it is time to serve it. You can keep some of the soup in the fridge for the upcoming days or freeze it for a later time. I know my dad normally would cook this amount for about a week and would freeze half of it and keep half of it in the fridge, but you can do whatever works for you. That is all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it. Also, if this was your first time here in the Living Life Simply channel, make sure to subscribe to join the community and I will be seeing you very soon. I had such a great time um, visiting my dad here in Japan as well as eating this soup. It's so delicious, especially in the cold weather. And yeah, I will see you very soon, as I said. Bye. Bye.